right, good morning. Welcome back to Casa Texpina. We're starting off this morning with the welders coming in with two more uh, fence grills. So they're gonna put these in place and we'll see uh, how those end up looking. Uh, again, welcome back to Casa Texpina. It is build day number 129. It is Friday. Normally that would mean payday, but not here. That's tomorrow. Um, so today we're continuing with uh, plaster coating on the inside of the front porch. Um, they are also starting to plaster coat that last piece of exterior wall over here on the south side of the building outside of the master bath. Um, other than that, we are continuing with plaster coating up in the uh, mat, up in the media room and we are also continuing with the blocking or uh, building the block walls uh, for the fence uh, along the uh, adjacent to the neighbor's uh, fence so um, unfortunately the guy that, that's back there is down to just flying solo so it's just uh, just Mr. Carlito today uh, he will be uh, chipping and blocking uh, for most of the day. Uh, Mr. Edmund, our Budaguero, will be jumping in to help him uh, from time to time. Um, let's see, what else? Oh, we've got our, um, our two carpenters, Mr. Alex and Mr. Um, Allen, uh, in the kitchen, and they are still continuing to fabricate the jig for the, um, or the jig or the sample uh, for the uh, kitchen cabinet base uh, going along from the um, going along from the oven through the sink and around to the corner uh, to where we have the pass-through opening not a door but an opening there all right let's go uh, see what these guys are doing and let's get started all right out of the camera mask back on and watching these guys uh, i'm i'm assuming these are actually fairly heavy it's uh it's taken six guys to to move it so they're going to move it from the truck i believe they're going to put the first one right here next to the other one that they put up yesterday and then they've got one additional that i believe they're going to put here so <clears throat> All right, here they go. <laughs> All right. Man, y'all make that look easy. <laughs> Uh-huh. <laughs> Look at all the prisoners out. <laughs> <Bad up>, uh. <laughs> Look at all these jailbirds. <laughs> well, as usual, my uh, um, guessing skills are incorrect. Uh, they're going to put one on this side of the house. Uh, the south side of the house. Let's see what it looks like on this side. All right, here we go. Round two. start here on the front since we've gotten the uh, we've got the fence grills in place mr. Jojo is continuing with plaster coating and rendering the inside of the front porch and 
And now that the fence grill is in place, Mr. Jericho is starting with plaster coating here outside of the master bath. This is, I believe, the last exterior wall to be plaster coated. And Mr. Romy continuing with the plaster coating of the fence. Mr. Gabby bringing more mortar for him. And back here on the fence line adjacent to the neighbor, Mr. Carlito there running out, is uh, continuing with the um, block wall. They've already up to four courses and they are going to remove this section here so they can realign it uh, to come in line with the rest of the fence line here. Okay, so that's what we're expecting for here today. Uh, let's go take a look inside the house. <clears throat> inside the house, inside the garage, Mr. Chucks, our electrician, is continuing to <clears throat> chip away at the electrical panel locations. So we're chipping all that out so we can have a good spot for the uh, electrical panels to go into. <clears throat> Coming into the house, as I mentioned earlier, we got Mr. Alex and Mr. Allen, and they are working the jig, or basically the guideline for the, for the kitchen cabinets, uh, the lower portion of the kitchen countertops. Uh, so they kind of got that in place and figuring out how it's going to work. And we'll have to go upstairs. Coming up the stairs. we got Mr. Wilson, Mr. Joel, Dom, and Pablo. All working up here doing plaster coating. As well as Mr. Red Horse himself, Ben. <laughs> On the outside playing Spider-Man today. <laughs> all right, all right, all right, all right. The uh, engineer brother-in-law has brought by the floor sheeting that we're going to use for the attic floor. Uh, the attic floor, yes, the attic floor. Um, <clears throat> it is 12 millimeters thick. So if I can put this on here, you can see here. It is 12 millimeters thick on one side, equates out to half inch thick for us uh, using the old uh, empirical system. And these, uh, these are good old 4x8 sheets of, uh, of sheeting. Yep. Standard sheeting size, 4x8 sheet half inch thick um, so this is fiber cement board waterproof anti proof no termite proof um, does uh, also provide a little bit of insulation as well uh, so we're gonna weight test this later on today hopefully <laughs> keyword there hopefully we'll see how it goes also delivered today the uh, French door for the, this is the French door frame for the office. Yay! That's our last door frame for the whole house. So this will be the last door frame to go in. All right, continuing with the uh, steel floor framing up here above the attic in the, uh, above the master suite. Um, what they are working on today is going back in and putting the cross bracing. So we had the long span that went, um, floor joists. So they went back in and put in these small braces in between as well. Um, so that's what they're working on now. They already went down the main center all the way down and they're starting to work their way back along the edge. And they've already got them marked out. 
This is to give them additional bracing so they don't roll over one way or the other. Um, you saw earlier where we had the, um, the fiber cement board sheeting. Um, if everything goes right, we may be able to do an actual weight test today uh, with me on it. I don't think it's gonna be a problem. These, uh, these uh, tubular steel four, two by fours are uh, fairly strong. We'll have to wait and see. <laughs> wait and see. All right, Mr. Romy is continuing with the uh, plaster coating on the outside of the uh, fence line. And over on the south wall as well, Mr. Jericho is continuing with the last exterior wall to be plaster coated. This is uh, outside of the master's bath. All right, coming into the main door, main front door. Mr. Jojo is still working on the uh, rendering for the front porch. Coming along very smoothly. All right, let's go take a look inside. So we got the new door frame in for the uh, French door for the um, study or the office. Um, had to chip out the bottom edge here. They had a little bit of extra concrete at the bottom. Uh, so the, the frame will fit. And Mr. Alex here is getting ready to put that in place. Over here in the kitchen. I'm doing a little preemptive work trying to get the uh, framing just right um, for building the jigs just so we can get all the measurements done right for all the cabinetry here at the bottom cabinetry here in the kitchen all right coming up to the media room mr jojo is working the walls so we've got plaster coat on this one rough coat on that one they're still working on it getting more mortar mixed down here at the bottom Okay, over here on the side, uh, Mr. Wilson is continuing with the rough coat, plaster coat, uh, coming around the side. And Mr. Mr. Red Horse out there is still working on the, uh, the, exi the outside edges of the uh, dormer window, box window there. Mr. Chuck's electrician is squaring up the uh, outlet covers or the outlet holes. And let's take a look out here. What were you saying? Scary. It's scary. Why is it scary? Height. Oh. Height. And I you don't think I can walk on it? No. Why not? Not now. Why not? No. It's got look. Look at how well it's made. I don't care. <laughs> so they got the bracing up here along the side of the wall, as well as in the middle and the other side this should help keep it from uh, the uh, the vertical two by fours from flexing and turning sideways on us and mr joseph out down there is getting ready to turn a corner and start heading the other direction here soon they're putting in the last couple of ones down there at that end all right you guys today you guys are getting a treat we're gonna run over to tipco that large place with the smokestack at the end and take a drive by I've gotten clearance from the helipad, and we are clear to go.
Okay, so over here in the kitchen area, we're putting in the, uh, they're putting in the, the base, what they're gonna use for uh, a form for pouring the, uh, the base of the, the countertop. So here, what they do, if they're gonna have a, they're gonna have a countertop for the sink uh, in the kitchen area, they, they pour a concrete slab over the top of it. They'll put out the hole here for the sink and then um, everything else on the top is going to be uh, it's going to be hollow block down the side concrete across the top hollow block down the other side and then they're going to come back and put a piece of granite over the top of it here they call it granite uh, in the states we call it granite but yeah all the countertops here are being are going to be granite countertop we're getting the uh french door frame put into place for the office space Mr. Joel moving along pretty well on that uh, plaster coating Galing oh. all right it's almost the moment we've been waiting for. They've got the plywood sheeting in place, or sorry, the uh, fiber board, fiber cement board sheeting in place. We're still putting in brackets and continuing with some of the, uh, the welding. Engineer on site. Oh, what you think? What you think? Yeah? Hmm. Ready for me? <laughs> oh. Hey, look at that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Good, strong. Cool. It's going to be very strong up here. Nice. Hey, look at that. I got an attic floor. <laughs> Guys over here are doing the... Uh, doing the long welds make sure everything is in place and gonna be very well secured Great test. Great test. <laughs> Wait test. <laughs> back downstairs we're starting to put on the uh, hollow block edging for the uh, kitchen counter cap the kitchen cabinet the countertop uh, so what they do, the side, this is where Mr. Marlin is standing, is going to be where the oven is. So this side is going to be here. Uh, it's going to be hollow block up to the edge. And then they're going to pour cement across the top. They're going to leave a hole in the middle here for the, uh, for the sink. And continue the rest of the way around. Once that's all dried up, the next thing is going to be um, the granite countertop during the finishing stages. All right, the back fence here along the neighbor's wall. We were up to six courses and they're pouring a portion of the fence columns so that we can go ahead and get those stabilized um, at least up to halfway up the sixth course here. And then they're doing that the rest of this way down here. Um, they've still got to connect these two pieces here together and they'll work on that probably tomorrow. Uh, so they're pouring concrete into the forms uh, for the posts, these three posts. And they're rodding it with a piece of rebar and tapping the side as they go so we don't get any hollow blocks. Oh, hollow blocks. We'll get plenty of hollow blocks. Uh, so we don't get any honeycombs. Um, so there he goes with the, with the rod, rodding the top of it. All right. All right, the guys got a couple minutes left. We're coming at you from the newly weight tested attic floor. Man, this is gonna be awesome. So 
uh, today we got in a new door frame for the um, office. We also got in two new grills for the fence line. And we got in the floor for the attic. Man, this is an awesome day. Um, we've also, in addition to the doors, grills, and floor, we have added in the beginnings of our kitchen countertop. Uh, so they're starting the bottom of it. They started off over by the uh, over by the oven, and they're going to continue that uh, tomorrow, and we'll see how that leads. Um, it's been a great day. It's a good Friday. Uh, so we'll see you guys here again tomorrow. If y'all like today's video, please give us a big thumbs up. If you'd like to see more of these videos, hit the Casa Texpina star right over here on your right hand side and you'll be subscribed. Hit the bell icon just below the view screen. You'll be, uh, you'll be notified of our next video upload for your viewing pleasure. So until we see you again tomorrow for Saturday and payday, have a great afternoon and God bless. Can you fly this plane and land it? Surely you can't be serious. I am serious and don't call me Shirley. <laughs>